Hello, my name is Im, and welcome back to my channel. This is really so exciting. Uh, you know, I'm finally in a position to be uh, back on YouTube and in a totally different capacity than before. You know, this time I'm uh, planning on doing a full schedule, you know, uh, scheduled release releases of all the different stuff I do on my channel. And of course, that includes Shingeki, one of the main things on my channel for the last few years. Uh, I have a lot of love for this anime, uh, this story. And, you know, I received a lot of love from you guys, you know, the, the fans of this uh, or fellow fans of this uh, anime. Uh, and, you know, I really do appreciate it. I, you've always been uh, really supportive. Um, so I'm most excited, you know, so excited to be back recording new stuff. Um, um, yeah, man, it's, it's, been, it's been a long time, right? It's been a long time, but the excitement hasn't gone at all you know i'm still so excited for it uh and shingeki is gonna have its own specific day uh at this point in time i don't know uh what the schedule is gonna look like but by the time this goes up you're gonna have a uh, a detailed schedule for everything and all of that information is gonna be in the pinned comment uh you know in uh updates and uh schedules it's always at the top of the comment section it's hard to miss so check that out Right then, so before I go any further, I need to um, address uh, some potential spoilers, uh, some housekeeping. So <clears throat> in my time off from YouTube, I tried my absolute best to steer clear of spoilers. Uh, and, I'm, you know, I'm pretty good at that. I'm pretty good at that. Uh, but unfortunately, despite my best efforts, I did get spoiled for a few things for this show in particular, for this anime. Uh, you know, it's such a cultural phenomenon that, you know, even if you're super careful... In a, you know, in a split moment, something does leak through, right? Uh, uh, and for the most part, it was just, uh, you know, cases of just bad timing or, you know, mutuals um, posting something they're excited about um, from the manga, I guess. Okay, so the first thing, um, I've seen a panel from the manga and it appeared to be an older Aaron. He's looking, I think he's like in a washroom or something and he's looking into a mirror. Uh, and his appearance is uh, a bit different. You know, he looks older, that was for sure. Um, uh, and his hair looked a little bit different. Um, uh, but yeah, you know, it, it was clear that it, it's an older Aaron. So uh, I guess that image kind of showed a bit of a time skip, perhaps. Uh, certainly didn't look like the Aaron I know, <laughs> you know. So that was one thing. Uh, I guess, you know, that that isn't the biggest spoiler, you know, because um, I, you know, I didn't expect Aaron to die or anything, um, given the fact that, you know, the cold open in, in the, uh, season three, episode one shows Aaron, right? But this looked like it was even beyond that moment. You know, he looked older, much older. Um, and another panel that... A mutual on Instagram posted. Um, it was I think I believe it might have been Aaron again. Uh, it, it was the same type of look, um, and he was tied up. Like he he was standing, but he was tied up. So, uh, and there was a few people around him. So I don't know. Again, you know, I don't have context, but I do. You know, it does give a bit of a roadmap in terms of, you know, where the story might be heading. Uh, down the line, uh, but you know, the moment the moment I run run into that kind of thing, I, you know, it's like a split second. I just kind of you know quickly just whoop, whoop, didn't didn't need to see that. But you know, uh, even in a split second, you can pick up enough. And then the next two are from Twitter. Um, you know, the first one, I don't think this person meant to you know spoil anything for me, but um, you know, you could kind of put two and two to, together, right? Um, you know, they mentioned that Reiner's backstory is going to be shown in season four. So, you know, if that is the case, uh, I think, you know, I'm going to just kind of assume Reiner survives, you know, and he gets out of there. Um, because I just feel like if you're going to show someone's story, uh, sorry, backstory, uh, it usually means they're still alive, right? Um, and you learn about them, uh, or their past. Uh, so... Again, you know, I don't want to think too much about it, but, you know, that's one of the potential spoilers. 
Uh, and this next one was someone actually trying to be an asshole and they were trying to spoil stuff for me. Um, they caught a block, you know, real quick. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I saw a split second of it. They, they posted a GIF. It was the Beast Titan and there appeared to be um, uh, some kind of green smoke. Um, and, you know, I saw hooks coming out of the green smoke and that's about it. That's all I saw before, you know, I just kind of uh, swiped out real quick. Um, so yeah, those are the four things I've seen. So I'd say out of those four things, um, that one shot of Aaron being tied up is probably the biggest spoiler, I guess. Um, again, you know, I didn't, I, I don't know who the people are that are surrounding him, but you know, I, I wasn't trying to pay attention to them. <laughs> you know, it was a quick split second thing, but I, I saw enough to know that it was an older Aaron and he was tied up. So there's that. Uh, those are the spoilers I ran into in my time off from YouTube. Um, so there you have it. Right, so that's that. Uh, moving on. So if you're interested in full length or early access, head on over to Patreon. Check it out. Uh, also, there's other content. You know, there's going to be Death Note. There's going to be gaming content. Um, I'm going to do The Last of Us as the first of many you know gaming content was always meant to be one of the main things on my channel and i'm finally gonna you know uh make that happen so i'm sure there's some overlap here i'm sure there's some gamers here that you know so you know go check out uh the last of us playthrough you know uh you, you get to see a bit of a different side to me so that's about it for all the housekeeping stuff i know that was a bit of a long intro but it had to be for this one uh, but yeah, man, I don't think I need to recap anything from episode 12. I clearly remember all of it. I know, uh, you know, what's to come now. You know, they're heading into the lion's den, as I said. So I'm just really excited to just get into it. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I'm excited to be back. <laughs> Oh my god, I already have goosebumps. It's music though. The oh. Let's go, baby. Levi, I hate my guy, she doesn't care. She'll do anything. そうだった。すまん。ひだに巨人、絶対大事。主よ出せ。ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、
Yeah. That dream sequence from episode one of the series. All the hype. Honestly, man, I'm like... Dude, goosebumps top to bottom right now. Focus, focus. Oh shit. Reiner and uh, Bertolt, they're close by. Squad up. Squad up. Here's a shot from the trailer. That was a great angle. This is all going too... too easily for them so far, man. I'm not liking this. Oh my god, man. I... He's Titan. This is eerie, man. やはり何者かが野営していたもようです。とっても冷め切って地面に道具が散乱していました。紅茶のようなものを飲んでいたようです。いい匂い。何の飲み物だ。He doesn't. それと黒い液体を注いだ後がある もっと大勢の。ああ、スカウト。君はその頭だ。何度も我々を窮地から救い出してくれた。まさに今、その力が必要な時だ。必要な数の兵を動かし、うちも周辺に敵が潜んでいないか探り出してくれ。おお、アル
扉の上部から入念に捜索開始I love to see him, man. Armin. Oh, shit. And it begins. Oh. That's from the trailer. From the trailer. Oh my god. They did come out of the ground, right? Alright, yeah, that shot from the trailer. I love that most of it's from uh, just the first episode. So first episode back, um, I thought that episode did a good job of setting things up, right? Uh, it appears that all the major players are now in position, you know, all the different, you know, things are in position now. Though one person is still missing, Bertolt, he's still hiding, in hiding. Um, but, you know, yeah, other than that, everyone is in position, right? It's about to get mental, isn't it? Um, um, in that sense, yeah, it was, it was, it was a decent, decent season opener. Well, I mean, I guess it's not really a season opener, but I guess it also kind of is because it was split, right? So it can be kind of considered a season opener. Um, uh, realistically speaking, most of that was kind of shown in the trailer, right? Um, it was more of, it kind of added more footage to... A lot of the story that the trailer um, depicted. So in that sense, I didn't see that much new stuff. Um, uh, though I did. There was some uh, earlier on in the episode. There was actually quite a bit of important character moments, and I'll get into that. But you know, a lot of the main moments, um, the setup, that uh, yeah, it was shown in the trailer. But also in that sense, I'm happy that most of the stuff I saw from the trailer was shown in this episode, right? So that takes it out of the running, basically, right? For the rest of the uh, nine episodes. Uh, you know, that's one of the things I love most about uh, trailers sometimes. You know, um, you can pinpoint exactly, you know, what's left or what's already been shown. And yeah, and you know, it appears that I've seen most of the things that showed in the showed in the trailer, right? I absolutely loved that ending, oh my goodness, that, you know, like I said, that brought back a lot of go good times, a lot of good memories of the show, um, and, uh, sorry, not the show, the anime, that was just delightful, that was just so beautiful, man, um, uh, you know, like I said, it brought back a lot of good memories of this amazing anime, um, a lot of good memories, you know, and, um, they showed some, some really ah, beautiful stuff, man, um, you know, it really depicted the passage of time these characters have uh, spent together and, you know, the bond they've built over the years uh, together. Uh, and, you know, that includes people like Reiner, Bertolt, Ymir, and Annie. You know, they were part of it for years. Uh, so there is a bond. Um, and, you know, uh, the show 
they showed that iconic moment of them uh, deciding to join the scouts, you know, um, uh, that's, that is one of the iconic moments of the series, right? Um, and, you know, they showed a lot of other uh, really nice moments. Uh, you know, they showed uh, scenes from episode um, season three, episode five. That's one of the, the best episodes of the series, for me at least. Um, uh, yeah, you know, uh, you know that, that, that made me think of season two a lot. How much I enjoyed season two, to be honest. Or at least, um, the, the, well, I mean, I enjoyed a lot of those episodes. But, you know, I have a lot of good memories of that middle section of the season. I thought it was a great um, choice to have this kind of uh, ending. You know, depicting their bond, you know, depicting their friendship over the years um, and the moments they've shared, you know, good or bad. Um, you know, especially given the situation they all find themselves in, you know, on opposite sides of the uh, of the conflict here. Um, you know, th these emotions are going to play a part, you know, that, I think that's that much is certain, you know, um, it's not something you can just forget having bonds and friendship like that so i'm sure it's going to play a part i'm sure there's going to be a lot of high tension situations high risk situations you know um so i think it makes for a lot of interesting um uh, a lot of interesting uh dynamics um once a lot of these uh, characters come face to face now before i do dig into the episode i i simply have to mention one of the best parts of the episode the music Oh my god. Just incredible. You know, at times they absolutely floored me. You know, some of the new music in this episode, showcased in this episode. And if, you know, if this is a sign of things to come for the rest of, uh, you know, season three, I'm in for a treat, man. I am so goddamn excited. Uh, wow. I mean, Sawano is just incredible, right? He's as good as anyone. He really is as good as anyone there is out there. Um, just ugh. his music, man. I'll, I'll, I'll continue to say it. I'll continue to shout from the rooftops. His music is so important to this series. Uh, it is so important to Shingeki. It is part of the fabric of Shingeki. Um, it makes it so special. You know, it makes these scenes so special. Um, yeah, man, uh, just just incredible stuff. And, you know, one of the things I really haven't been able to do these past few years is, you know, look, look stuff up, you know, um, like I, you know, I would love to look up Sawano and some of the other people um, involved in making uh, the show and stuff. But, you know, it, I can't do that. Not until I'm like, you know, fully caught up or uh, until the series concludes. Because, you know, even if you're not really searching for anything show related in terms of like the actual plot, you know, you could still end up running into a, a potential spoiler. Even if I search up something like Sawano, you know, you, you never know. So, I, uh, you know, I do steer clear of anything like that. But, you know, I do hope to search all of it up, you know, search up Sawano. And I would love to, you know, check out some of his other music. Right. Um, big fan. Huge fan. He is just incredible, man. I'll keep saying it. Um, and I'm sure, you know, I'm not the only one. Like, uh, I'm sure his, his music is, like, appreciated by everyone. But, you know, I just I just want to make sure uh, to, you know, to, to point that out again. You know, his music just has me so excited. And he's, the track record is just incredible, right? Uh, just amazing music since season one. Wow. Right then, so uh, so in the beginning of the episode, Aaron seems to be having this self-doubt panic moment, right? And to be honest, you know, it's to be expected, right? You know, this is one of the biggest missions in humanity's history, right? At least the humanity within the walls, right? Uh, it might even be the biggest mission. I think, yeah, I think it's fair to say it could be the biggest mission. Um, so, you know, in that sense, it is to be expected to have some butterflies, have some concerns, you know, some jitters, um, especially if you're so, in, you know, integral to it all, you know, as Aaron is. 
And of course, Armin is there, right? He kind of helps guide him out of it, right? By making him think back to the resilient nature and, you know, the source of his uh, fearless crusade against the Titans, right? You know, in, um, uh, in the finale, in episode 12, you know, I, uh, once again, they kind of brought up the idea of Armin's dream and, you know, uh, this dream they've shared uh, of, you know, going outside and, you know, going to these places, right? These inc incredible places, you know, and um, this is something, this is a dream they've shared since the beginning. But, you know, I I might have misjudged how important that might have been. You know, it, it actually, it appears that it was even more important than I originally thought. Because Armin's dream completely changed Aaron's mentality altogether. It kind of helped unlock the bigger picture in his mind, right? Up until that point, he just didn't look at things uh, in that sense, right? You know, but the one thing Aaron was quite confident about is the fact that, you know, uh, taking back freedom is something that flows through him, right? That's what he said. It's a strength that flows through him. And he doesn't really even quite know as to why. Uh, but, you know, it's there, you know, almost as if it's innately part of him. You know, something that's um, something you're born with rather than learned, right? So, you know, that that is um, that is quite interesting. And, you know, in that sense, it should be remembered again that, you know, he isn't, I mean, he is, you know, I guess you could say he's a normal human, but, you know, also he's not, you know, because he is, you know, he is, he was born to a Titan shifter. So, you know, something about his build has to be different, you know, um, you know, in terms of DNA or uh, it can't be exactly like a normal human and you know this this goes back to that question I had you know in my um, episode 6 discussion right um, I was trying to figure out if um, or not figure out it was impossible to figure out at that point but like I was asking the question you know did Grisha have Eren after he was a titan shifter or before he became a titan shifter and then I got my answer in uh, bystander right Grisha had Aaron after he was already a Titan shifter, right? Um, because Grisha was a Titan. Like, he was a Titan shifter outside the walls long before uh, Aaron came into the picture, right? So, in that sense, he is special. So, Aaron was quite grateful that uh, Armin helped him out of this little mini funk, this mini uh, self doubt phase, right? Some of the jitters and some of the doubts that crept in. Uh, and, you know, speaking of Armin, um, you know, he 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 was in the spotlight for, you know, throughout this episode. And he kind of dominated uh, chunks of this episode. And, you know, in that sense, they, they made it quite clear that he's going to be one of the major players in this uh, conflict. Right. He's going to play a big role. That much is clear. Um, you know, it's been clear for so long that this is one of the most capable and intelligent individuals they have on their side. Um I remember, you know, even back in season one, I used to say that, you know, he has all the attributes, all the capabilities and all the uh, qualities to one day maybe even become the commander of the scouts, right? Or be in a position of command of some sort. Uh, and that's exactly what happens here as the commander himself puts Armin in a position of command, you know, um, and gives him a gives him command of a unit and you know these are older scout members that he has command of um and you know this comes um uh this comes from a great belief that the commander has in uh, armin you know he believes he's one of the greatest assets they have and that's spot on you know but instead of excitement you know <laughs> in that moment um that death flag flashed in my mind again, right? It's just really hard to shake that feeling after um, the the finale or the mid-season finale, episode 12. But let's move on from that because, you know, almost instantly, Armin showcased how capable he is, right? Because he is able to think outside of the box. He is able to, you know, think like the enemy thinks, you know. He is able to kind of put himself in their headspace or in their shoes, um, and, you know, uh, he, he had a brilliant hunch. He surmised that, you know, the wall itself makes for the perfect spot, you know, to keep tabs on everything. And, you know, he ends up being right about that. 
Um, and, you know, I, you know, I was speaking of his intelligence, right? And it's not just being intelligent. It's the you know ability to apply that intelligence to strategic elements on the fly, right? Uh, apply that intelligence to counterattacks uh, at a moment's notice, right? He's able to do that. And, you know, at this point, he's even introducing these older scout members to a new new way of thinking, right? He's telling them that they, they can't limit themselves to common sense and reason, right? They have to think beyond that. Because, you know, uh, the enemy is always kind of a step ahead. You know, he's, he's trying to tell them that they're always a step ahead because they attack us in unpredictable ways. Um, manners right um so he you know he's doing he again you know he's he's doing things that people in uh leadership positions uh tend to do now staying on armin it appears that he might have had his first experience with coffee um now if that is the case um as it appears to be uh it means that they don't have coffee um inside the walls uh, now, you know, something as inconsequential as coffee didn't even cross my mind, you know, uh, didn't even matter. But in the grand scheme of things, it's it's quite the process, right? From bean to cup, uh, you need infrastructure in place for that. And, you know, it's clear that, you know, the people inside the walls don't have that kind of infrastructure in place. But Reiner Bertolt and the Beast Titans people do, right? Uh, kind of similar to the, the can of herring, right? Back in season two. And, you know, it's probably, it might not even be a big thing there. It might just be a normal thing uh, in their hometown or the place they come from. You know, much like in real life, coffee is just, you know, nothing special. Uh, uh, so, again, you know, that does kind of raise questions about their uh, hometown or the place they come from. And, like, how different is it from the society inside the walls, right? The society inside the walls might be completely different than outside. He also brought up the possibility of a potential scout, right? So that's a that's an interesting yet scary prospect, right? Because if that's the case, you know, did they bring in more people or not they uh, did the beast titan, you know, bring in more of these people from their hometown to help? Um that be that be kind of crazy, right? But uh, exciting as well, to be honest. Uh, and you know, Reiner, Reiner did reveal himself, right? Uh, you know, and in doing so, he almost kind of got himself. Um, well, I mean, he had no choice but to you know jump out and stab the guy at that point. But you know, um, he almost he almost died. You know, Levi had him for a split second. He almost had him, but something happened there you know something that kind of caught levi off guard as well it looked like reiner was a goner but then somehow came back right and levi even questioned if this is some kind of new ability so you know let's see if they explain that at some point something happened there something strange happened there now reiner has shown himself but Bertolt still seems to be hiding right so it'll be interesting to see his hiding spot um, I thought maybe it could be a house, but, you know, he was looking out of, um, like holes inside a wall of some sort. So I don't know. Uh, let's, let's see how it all plays out. Um, and, you know, speaking of, uh, the warrior crew, it, it, you know, it's clear that they have their own plans, you know, and, you know, speaking of strategies, they, they have their own plans. Uh, well, the beast Titan has plans, right? Uh, you know, the beast titan swung the pendulum you know with one toss of a boulder right it was a precise um and effective toss uh you know and as i noted in uh, the trailer reaction it had form behind it right um you know the commander instantly knew that you know and saw that you know it was a perfect perfect toss right he meant to do it you know so like i said you know they are entering the lion's den and it appears the odds are already kind of stacked against them because, you know, the commander instantly clocked that, you know, the Beast Titan has just made a power play um, and crippled them in a matter of seconds, you know, with that toss of a boulder because, he, you know, he blocked that entrance so the horses can't get through anymore, right? So, you know, they're, they're already kind of looking like they're up against it. 
Now, you know, I've stated before that the action aspect isn't really the hook for me as far as it goes for Shingeki. But, um, you know, that being said, uh, it appears that I might get to see a tactical chess match at play here. You know, both sides are going to make big moves, right? Big plays, and it might go back and forth. Um, so, you know, that, that does have me excited. You know, I am looking forward to that. Um, and, you know, speaking of, uh, the beast Titan, you know, he's so scary, man. I, I, I keep saying it, but he really is a scary motherfucker. Um, you know, there's a real risk here, uh, that he could end up killing some of these characters or he could be end up, or he could end up being responsible for a major death. That scares me, man. Uh, you know, but he does have this new Titan, new type of Titan by his side. A really strange looking Titan. Um, it was on all fours, I think. And, you know, it reminded me of a monkey almost because it had like long limbs, right? Long arms. Um, so it was on all fours. Just really strange, really strange. But um, it, it had cargo on its back. You know, it had a lot of stuff on its back. Um is this stuff the Beast Titan intends to use against the scouts? Uh, is this stuff he intends to throw at them? You know, he it looks like that's part of his strategy, right? You know, keep keep a distance and, you know, throw stuff at them. You know, could this be modified explosives like grenades that he could toss at them from a distance? Now, it was kind of tough to tell the size of the cargo on that Titan's back. Um, but, I mean, it, it's still quite a large Titan, even if it's one of the smaller ones, you know, this new special Titan. Um, is it possible that Bertolt might be in one of those boxes? Is it possible? Um, depends on the size of those boxes. Um, um, uh, let's see, let's see. Um, I do think there, there's got to be some important stuff in that cargo, right? Uh, it is by the Beast Titan's side. Um, my guess is, you know, explosives, uh, like, uh, modified grenades. Um, but yeah, let's see how it all plays out. Right then, I think that's about it for this episode. Uh, it had some great moments, you know, uh, I think, uh, one of the standouts again was the music. Um, I think the episode did a great job of setting things up, um, of, you know, putting all the players in the places, right, in the right places, uh, and it's all about to take off, you know, you can, you can see that, you can feel it, uh, so if you enjoyed that, uh, consider dropping a like, uh, consider subscribing, uh, there are schedules now for all the different content on my channel, um, so if you, if you do subscribe, uh, make sure to turn on your notifications. If you're interested in full length for this episode or early access, uh, head on over to Patreon, you know, check out the listings there. Uh, maybe you'll like something, uh, and in doing so, you'll be supporting the channel. And, you know, even beyond Shingeki, there's going to be other content, you know, uh, there's another anime, uh, Death Note is going to be part of this relaunch. Um, and there's gaming content, you know, I'm sure there's some overlap. I'm sure there's some crossover here. I'm sure, you know, there's some gamers here that might be into that. So, you know, um, go check that out. You know, if, if you, if you like my content, maybe go check out, uh, the gaming content, you know, you, you'll get to see a different side, uh, of me. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm really excited to be back. Uh, really excited to be recording a lot of stuff and you know um, the consistency was the one thing that was missing from my channel I think uh, I could finally um, get something going now you know once uh, I have the scheduled releases out there so yeah you know thanks for joining me I hope to see a lot of familiar names in the comment section as you know I have a I have a decent memory so you know I I remember I remember names so it's really exciting to be back and I hope you enjoyed that and I hope to see you soon take it easy <laughs>